Hey beautiful collective, welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so much for being here. I've got Tucker eating a soup bone. <laughs> it's one of his special treats guys. Um, collective energy, please and thank you spirit. I do appreciate each and every one of you know that. Portal is open. Doors are opening for you, it's time. You can achieve a lot and make big changes. Say what you're afraid to say. So this person is afraid to say what they gotta say. That's why this person has no peace. They're afraid to say what they want to say. Anyway, a windfall of good things are happening all around you. Expect some good luck and be less in and be open to the possibilities. You've had to use some tough love here. You will soon receive good news. It can come in the form of an email, a text message, a phone call, or letter. It's a treasure chest here. Hmm. This person's afraid to say something. But something is brewing. You're over here being very independent. It's time to pursue something independently and surrender. Oh. This is the divine truth. You will know the truth. Answers will come in time. Or the unnecessary questions will fall away. This person... You may soon travel to areas your soul wants to explore, so you may expand and grow beyond your limits. You are not meant to follow the masses. Be different, be daring, and go against the play at safers. This person is afraid to say what they gotta say. This is karma, double karma here, actually. Your luck is changing. There are forces working for you which will change your path in life. A divine power is taking over here. Harnessing your own divine power. Okay, so this person is gripped by the devil. They're afraid to say it. They're confused and they're going through a lot of obstacles. They're afraid to say what they gotta say. I'm not sure why. Well, they're with the play at Safers. Hmm. What's this person afraid to say? What is this person afraid to say? They're confused. Karma. What are they afraid to say? They're sorry. They're in regret. <clears throat> they regret their actions. Yeah, it is. They're ashamed. They're embarrassed. They're guilty. Afraid to say they're sorry. What's 
person afraid to say? Spirit, what's this person afraid to say? What are they afraid to say? Some kind of legal issue? Their pride is wounded. They're tired. They're exhausted. Holy jeez, all wands. This is karma, karmic justice. Someone could be afraid to say they're faced with challenges, they're faced with obstacles, they're faced with emotions here. Hmm. Good news is coming to you, either in the form of a text message, a letter, a document, I don't know. Someone's facing some kind of financial challenges. Ooh. Someone being very selfish, self-centered. <clears throat> Did something risky. Um, they're over there with the play at savers. You're over here being independent. You're out on your own. You're being independent. You're getting good news, and this person's afraid to say something. Either they're afraid to say that they were cheating on you, or that they were selfish, or that they juggled you, or that they're having some legal issues. Oh. Something's brewing. So they're facing some kind of legal issues or they're facing some kind of having problems. They're fighting, arguing. They're tired of fighting and arguing against some kind of uh, legal matter or some type of something is brewing between them. Afraid to say they made the wrong choice. <laughs> That's what they're afraid to say. They're being told to free themselves from the devil's grasp. They're afraid. They literally are afraid.
afraid of getting a house repossessed or afraid of, I don't know, some kind of legal matter? Afraid of death? Oh, shit. Whatever it is, they're, they're grieving. It's like they're afraid. They're afraid of the devil. They're afraid... I don't know if this is going to jail, going to court. They're afraid. They're they're codependent. This person is afraid to speak. This person they're afraid. They could be afraid of rejection. <laughs> There's something going on here. They're being controlled. Some kind of, I don't know if this is drugs. I don't know if this is, they're afraid to tell you that they had a drug issue or they're afraid of like Jesus I don't know are, are they afraid that someone's gonna commit suicide That's what it's looking like. It's like this person wants to say something to you. They want to get something off their chest. They want to speak, but they're afraid. <clears throat> they're afraid somebody's going to commit suicide. What the hell is this all about? Somebody is contemplating it. Something's brewing. Somebody is contemplating suicide, but they're afraid to say it.
they're afraid that this other lover is Somebody could have a mental illness. Holy man, this is weird energy. Like somebody wants to come out and say something, but they can't. They're afraid to say it. They're afraid to say it. They're terrified. Are they afraid that Holy shit, is this a, someone having to get rescued here by ambulance or something? Is someone threatening to commit suicide? Is someone like, had to come in like, do a resuscitation? Do some kind of like, did somebody have a drug overdose? Did somebody have to, like, do resuscitation? Did somebody have to, like, call the ambulance? Did somebody attempt suicide? Is someone losing their mind? Is someone going crazy? Some kind of information, some phone call. <clears throat> Somebody may have had to call 911. Somebody may have, this is like an emergency call. Holy Jesus. What is going on here? I don't know what kind of story I'm getting here.
You're going to be getting contacted by somebody here. This is somebody uh, getting rushed to the hospital. This could be a 911 call, an emergency call. What's going on here? Conflict. Just say it. This person's afraid to speak. Look, somebody is sitting there in a real negative mind space. They've got to get something off their chest. Somebody has even contemplated suicide. Someone has having suicidal thoughts. Like, isn't it better to just say what's going on? Like, they're keeping it to themselves. It's like, I don't know if people's, Jesus, I wouldn't want to be in this energy. I'm being real, like this is serious. I don't know if somebody actually did commit suicide or if somebody is blaming somebody for someone committing suicide. I don't know, it's almost like they're afraid to tell you or they're afraid to tell you what's really going on. 
this could be a karmic energy who's threatening suicide or this person is afraid to tell anyone they're afraid to tell anyone someone is suicidal like for real and they're afraid to tell anyone it's like you may get a phone call this is either a 911 call or having to call an ambulance or having to call an emergency crew or something like this this is weird I don't know who's doing this, if it's your person who's contemplating suicide, or if it's they're like, just say it, you're blaming me, aren't you? You're blaming me, aren't you? For someone having like thoughts of suicide it's like either someone is grieving the loss of someone who has committed suicide or someone is like threatening to commit suicide Jesus. Something is brewing with this other lover and this karmic energy. This is like a karmic twin. mentally manipulating someone they're under mental manipulation somehow i don't know if they're doing magic or spell work with the magician here casting spells they could be coming like suicidal like having suicidal ideation someone is mentally ill mentally sick here disturbed i don't know if they're threatening suicide or this is weird weird energy i am oh my lord of mercy third party is paranoid somebody could be having bouts of schizophrenic moments or something like this i'm picking up on now i'm not sure where where this is going but something is brewing something is brewing something Someone's a scared here. There's fear here. I don't know if your 
person knows how to get out of this. I'm just being real. I, I don't know if whoever I'm picking up on knows how to get out, out of this energy. Like, truly, I... It's like a plea for help. It's like... I don't know if this is spell work backfiring. And it very likely could be. Someone could be having thoughts of suicide or killing themselves because of some kind of spell work. It's like, holy jeez. This is like somebody could be actually losing their mind due to somebody's spell work. Someone's terrified, like mentally, it's, someone's in a state of confusion, like, they need to release themselves from the devil's grip. You're more powerful than your inner shadow. Just say it, what you're afraid to say. It'll give you the peace you seek. Someone's afraid that if they speak their mind, somebody will commit suicide. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Like, I don't know if someone has a drug addiction. I don't know if somebody is being haunted by the devil. Demons. Demons getting into somebody's thoughts and minds due to someone's spell work. Man, someone is dangerously close to suicide here. I don't find any of that amusing or funny. I'm sorry. I mean, a lot of people are getting influenced by these demons and stuff like that. I mean, all they have to do is free themselves from the devil's grasp. You, that's it. That's what it is. Somebody could be getting karma and I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Somebody is contemplating suicide. For God's sakes, there's always another way. That's what Spirit's saying. All you gotta do is release yourself from the devil's grip. Say it. Get it off your chest. Why let something consume you? I don't know what this is, but... There is always another way. There is always another way. My God, there's so much help out there. I mean, there truly is. I don't know who needs to hear that, but... Someone's fighting demons, man, I'm telling you. Maybe someone's afraid to ask for help. Fear of what people will think of them or something. But I'm telling you, there's a better way. There is definitely hope. And there is always hope. And there is always a better way. It's 
brewing. Broken promises. This is to do with a soulmate. You know, that's the sad case when your soulmates realize what they have done. When they actually realize the damage that they have created for their lives and for other people's lives. That's what I could be picking up on, that energy. When they get that realization of what they've done to you, to their own lives, to other people. Someone is contemplating suicide. And even these karmic energies, when they realize what they have done to like their own lives, and especially if people are doing black magic and people around them start passing away, it's like people they love. You realize how minuscule a, a partner is, like in the scheme of things, there is nobody worth doing spell work over. Nobody. Mm, you start losing people around you, you know, it's a reality check. How do you forgive yourself? Take care.